All right, I guess I'm live. I'm not really sure yet. I'm just trying out this new software stuff here. Um, just got done doing a video, recording a video, I'm rendering and everything, edited it, rendering. Uh, anybody you know, sees this up and clicks on it, then we'll see if it's working. <clears throat> so I'll just check out some things here really quickly to see if it's working. Okay, there's a couple of you. Hi, <laughs> everybody. Um, you can hear my audio and everything. Okay. <clears throat> Good. A lot of you are joining in here and things. This is new to me, the first time I've ever used this, so just trying to see how everything works. Uh, yeah, live stream test. There it is. So, <clears throat> so, okay. Now that I see, let me pull my chair forward a little bit there. Uh, well, I guess we'll just do kind of a live stream question and answer type of deal or whatever um reuben sky what did jesus mean when he said you cannot work for both god and mammon he didn't say that he said you can't worship both god and mammon um if you worship mammon you're not going to worship the lord um <clears throat> so i get into a lot more detail on that but that's basically what he was saying you, you can work you can make a living but uh you're not going to be worshiping the money when you worship money you're you're gonna you know uh you know get rid of the lord being around and whatever else so uh, i shouldn't say get rid of the lord but i'm if, if you worship money you're not going to think much about the bible or doing things ethically or whatever else so oh, praise the lord good to see everybody coming in here so thanks brother tim there by the way for letting me know about this stream yard thing this first time i tried to do it before and it, it just wouldn't get on the website and and uh so yeah what's the flag you got in the background the one over here that's the uh, flag of bavaria um there's some my ancestry goes back to that um bavaria actually in bavaria there's actually a town called denkling in and um, so, uh, Denklinger Rotwald, there's a forest over there too. They even have dirt bike trails. So if I ever get to, to uh, Bavaria, I'd like to check out uh, that area. So hi to everybody out there um, from Durban, South Africa. Hi. Um, <clears throat> good to see, see everybody. I had to hear I like bluegrass. Yeah, I do like bluegrass music. Um, it's kind of what you know pulled me out of the whole uh, rock and roll, heavy metal type of deal. I got into country music first, and then that was just like uh, you know rock music with a steel guitar, and I just kind of went, eh, whatever. And, and then bluegrass music came up, and that I really liked. How's the casino coming along? Well, they, they've been uh, cutting a lane, cutting the road back into it. It it got really, really cold here uh, the last couple of days. It's been um, down in the teens at night and everything else and snowing. So it's going to be real rough for them to continue any kind of construction stuff um, over the winter. So I think for now it's just kind of on the back burner. Who are the sons of God mentioned in Genesis chapter 6, verse 2? Angels. Compared to the book of Job. Absolutely. Uh, 
Well, praise the Lord. I'm glad to hear you left Fenninger's group. Um, it's a shame about him. I, you know, I really thought he was saved early on and, and things and seemed to have some good stuff, but then, uh, he really just, you know, after Martin Richling came out, yeah, I mean, he just, Fenninger came out and uh, kind of supported Martin Richling's heresies, and then he just went off the deep end after that. Um, repent of your pork eating. No. <laughs> Sorry, not going to do it. Uh, every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God in prayer. Pigs are an animal of God. And I will eat pigs because it is more of a uh, German kindred type of a thing. Um, and, you know, we eat, uh, you know, uh, woodland swine, the stuff that's uh, raised without antibiotics and whatever else. And I get people sending me stuff, you know, pigs actually are, pork meat is really bad. And here's proof. It, look at this factory raised pork. It's really filled with, you know, all kinds of bad stuff and whatever else. Yeah. Um, you know factory raised anything okay uh, you can be a, a vegan and eat if you're eating big ag fruits and vegetables you're going to get sick from that so um so do i eat poison arrow frog no we don't have any in the area <laughs> uh my thoughts on kanye west's conversion to Christianity. I was watching brother Tim had a, a little thing on that. Watch some of his stuff. Um, you know, yeah, whatever. I mean, it was, it was just so messed up, you know, that whole thing. Um, you know, as time goes by, you're going to see more and more people coming out saying that they're Christian because we're going into the time of Jacob's trouble. Well, not we, but I'm saying the world is going into the time of Jacob's trouble and, and they're going to be professing to be Christian. You know, um, you know, so that's what you're going to see. Uh, hey, Brian, have you changed your mind or repented from interracial marriages being as sin? I believe that every child is truly gift from God. Mind clearing that up? No, I haven't repented of it. Um, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, you get into all these little, you know, things with the whole interracial marriage. Well, what about Timothy? You know, he was interracially, you know, married. But yeah, I understand that. But what I'm saying is, God's perfect will is for people to marry within their own uh, nation, their own national boundary. And I've talked about that. I've gone over it. You can, you know, disagree with me, whatever. That's fine. Um, as far as the mark of the beast thing is concerned, we've talked about that. Um, I don't know what it is as far as an, an RFID chip or whatever else. Uh, I do think it's tied in with the 6G thing um, where it's going to be literally a loss of free will. Um, it's total integration of both mind and um, Internet. Say it that way. Uh, How are you doing your family in the house? Um, pretty good. We um, uh, probably going to be coming out with some videos on, on I, I'll just say this publicly. I haven't really talked about this much, but we're probably going to be making another channel on off grid type of stuff. I, I have kind of said a little bit on that, but um, we have a tiny house right now at this point. Uh, and um it, it one of the things we're using is it's a rocket mass heater it's a rocket stove and then it's it goes through a thermal mass and i thought it'd be a really good thing no nah, no nah. it's i mean i've been trying everything i can to try to make it work and it's just i can't get it above about 60 65 degrees inside the place so it's going to be going away uh, but I, we're going to be coming out with more videos on it so that's how we're doing we're doing okay but uh, what can you tell us about Moloch in the Roman Colosseum? Is any prophecy about Moloch's back? Honestly, I don't know about that. Um, Moloch, if you're spelling that right, talking about the, the one of the gods there, the, you know, Moloch. Um, I don't know anything about that. 
quite frankly. Moloch, you know, is a is a false god that people worship and things. So, um, hey Brian, have you ever fast? I'm about to have my first experience of fasting, and I'm willing to go three days and three nights. Any advice? Um, well, I think that uh, uh, in terms of fasting, it's kind of a personal thing between you and the Lord. If there's something that is a real kind of an important thing that you can fast about, um, yeah, you can do that. Um, it's 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 a good time to really you know pray and read your Bible, listen to the right kind of music. Um, yeah. Um, is your PayPal working? Is it fine to send donations or to there, or is there some other preferred way? We're still working on it. We don't. We're kind of caught in this weird thing right now. PayPal still works, but we can't use PayPal to buy anything. We used to get a lot of used things on eBay, which was really a great help because you can find them really cheap sometimes. And so right now we're just not able to use PayPal for that. But the donation thing still works. We just get it in and then we transfer it to our bank account. So. It, it's kind of a pain. We, we could create another PayPal account, but then we're going to have to shut the other one down. And so we're trying to redo some of that stuff. Um, didn't the Pope approve of Moloch statue in Rome recently? I haven't heard about that. Um, I didn't see it on YouTube. You've let me learn so much about the KJV Bible and church history as well. Praise the Lord, Brother William. Um, How old were you when you started believing in God? Um, I don't know. I was raised in a professing Christian family, so for me it really wasn't an issue. It was just kind of I went to born and raised in church and heard about God and whatever else. In terms of salvation, um, I was, I think I was 26 years old when I truly got saved. Um, uh, what is your opinion on this Greta Thunberg, the teen environmental activist? Never heard of her, honestly. Um, Vishnu, not Mr. Denlinger, how to I truly be how to know, I guess, if you're truly truly saved or how to get saved truly. But well, you can watch our salvation message. We have a bunch of videos on that, how to know if you're a false convert, things like that. I go through the scriptures. I can't go through them all right now. Um, you know, I put together the work on that so you can go through the scriptures with me and see what the Bible says. Um, Mark Mastro, I feel Orthodox is a daughter of the Roman Catholic Church. I feel God told me this. It is a daughter. Yeah, I would agree with that. They have a lot of the same traditions being lifted up above Scripture. Um, okay, now the comments are starting to fly, and I'm kind of going, huh. Um, Okay, Hope Seeker 97. What do you do for fun as a Christian? Seems like everything is of the world, even so called Christian entertainment. How do you connect with others as an outcast? Feel so beaten down alone. Um, well, what we do for fun as Christians is we, we go hiking, we go, we, um, we go out in nature a lot, and things like that. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of handcraft type of things that you can get into knitting and crocheting and making things and and um, you know whatever else. That's I mean there's a lot you can do. You know a lot of fun things that you can do out there. So um, Yeah, the, the thing about Doug Stauffer, I'll show this comment here. Did I do that right? Maybe I didn't. Okay. 
Have you looked at Doug Stauffer's updated book? I see a lot of confusing things in there. I had to quit reading it. I, he sent out some mass email type of a deal where he said that uh, he no longer believes that, that salvation was different and whatever else. And, you know, the Old Testament versus New Testament, it's been by grace through faith, you know, and the whole deal. So I just kind of went, eh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, what is the stream about? Ada stepping over there. It's just a test. I'm just this first time I'm using this software, so it's all new to me. Um, and just kind of um, trying to figure out some things how this works. Okay, do you read the Bible every day? And if, and I guess it's if you do, do you recommend it? Um, and by the way, what's your favorite verse? Well, my favorite verse is Romans 8 28. Um, I think it's a great verse. And uh, do I read the Bible every day? Yes, I do. Um, Okay there, Brother David, I think I just made you, gave you the sniper rifle thing. I hope I did anyway. Um, did I get to Dan KJV 1611? Uh, hey, Brian, did you get my email about the Baptist and the Department of Defense connection? Yeah, I did. That's ironic. I, I was I went downstairs and I'm showing my, check this out. You got to read this. And she says, oh, yeah, the Lord showed me that a while back, you know. So, Yeah. Um, we did get that. There's a lot of information we're sitting on. Um, we haven't brought out yet, but Levin T, do you know Greek? Do you read Bible in Greek? Um, I don't waste my time with Greek, to be honest with you. If I was going to go to uh, Greece to minister to the people of, of Greece, then I'd probably learn Greek. But um, I believe that God, God gave us the his word, perfect word in the King James Bible. So don't need to study Greek. Um, uh, what other Christian YouTubers do I recommend, if any? Um, well, uh, the channel recommendations that are on my channel are the ones I would recommend. Okay. Enlivening justice. Ryan, why do demons still attack us when we're saved? Are they trying to feed off fear to, or get us to ditch our faith? Well, they're just trying to frustrate. Um, devils will attack. Um, they're trying to do damage control. Simple as that. And if they can mess up a Christian, then, then that's a big thing for them. Um, Question, how's the sea of comments, Brian? <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Uh, okay. Have you heard of the Word Prophet YouTube channel? And if you have, would you recommend his channel? Yes, I've heard of him. The guy's a wing nut. Don't listen to him. He's no good. Definitely no good. Uh, gets into a lot of the work salvation type of stuff, whatever. You know, I don't, I don't, I can't, you know, recite or just say exactly what things he said in different videos and whatever else. But, um, uh, let's see here. Hi, Brian. Thanks for all you do. What is the biblical difference between fellowship and being yoked? Hmm, that's a good question. Um, I would say if you can fellowship with saved and lost people, obviously your relatives and whatever else. 
to a certain extent, again, I got to watch what I say here. Um, you know, you can talk to people, uh, you know, about things, but, um, and have decent fellowship with people, be it saved or lost, but yoked up with people. Um, you know, you'll, you'll see that with, with things with your relatives and whatever else they'll, they'll try to get you involved in things and, you know, um, and you have to be careful about that. There has to be that separation between the saved and the lost. Uh, do you think a Ruckman reference Bible is a good investment or should I just stick with straight text with no reference? Well, I have a couple different Bibles, a lot of different Bibles actually. And um, the Ruckman reference Bible, you have to take it with a grain of salt. Peter Ruckman was a man, um, a great man. I believe he was saved, but he got really spoiled by philosophy in a lot of different areas. Um, doing good, brother Jacob. Uh, Brian, top books a Christian should own. Um, Strong's Concordance I like, not for the Greek and the Hebrew in the back, but just as a good way, offline way of, of um, you know, being able to look up different words and whatever else. Um, Webster's 1828 Dictionary, also very helpful in defining Bible words. Um, you know, that's what I would say. That. Uh, yeah. Um, Sister Busy here. Type question before your questions so they stand out. Question in all capital letters, in other words. That was a suggestion a few live streams ago that seemed to help. Yes. Uh, very, very well said. Um, Uh, Mike Hoggard did a video on him a while back, uh, years and years ago, actually, and um, probably, what, six years ago, something like that, and uh, he rejects eternal security and dispensationalism, so I reject him, and he went post-trib and everything else, too, you know, he used to actually stand up for the pre-trib rapture and anyone against it, so... Uh, Nicholas Glenn, Brian, how much, if any, are you in agreement with Stephen Anderson? I know like the KJV, but are there any others? Uh, King uh, Stephen Anderson is a total military psyop little goon. Um, the guy should have been kicked off YouTube years ago. Uh, he gets kicked out of countries before his YouTube videos, but he can continue on YouTube. <laughs> Just, okay. Um, yeah, Stephen Anderson's false. He teaches a false gospel. He rejects dispensationalism. He's not a King James Bible believer. Um, he is defends 501c3, defends church building, says that Jesus burned in hell, uh, hates the Jewish people, the, the nation of Israel is Ill illegitimate. Um, please don't mess around with Stephen Anderson. He's false. Uh, let's see here. Um, boy, there's stuff coming up here. Uh, let's see. Question. Hey, there's another one up there. Question. Bible verses about man and beards. <laughs> oh, brother. We're not even going to go there. All right. Not even going to go there. There's stuff in the Old Testament, you know. I, I'm not going to make a big deal about that thing with beards. Um, uh, question, do you have a favorite Bible story or parable in particular? Um, that's a good question. I don't really have an answer for that, honestly. That, that's kind of a, hmm, I don't know. Um, question, where is the bottomless pit located? I, I like the parable of the seed and the sower and thing. I, there's a lot of truth in that and things. But where is the bottomless pit located? Well, I believe in the heart of the earth. Is where I believe it's um, located at. Uh, Frank Peabody, why did the disciple baptize in the name of Jesus? Not in, 
that's oh father son holy ghost yeah there's that's one of the ones that uh you know a lot of the so you get into the jesus only thing and whatever else and there's just so many weird things on the whole godhead whatever issue but they did baptize in the name of jesus in the book of acts so um quaker jake question have you heard about the pope's global event for next year yeah may or something like that i think in sometime in may talk about globalism thought that was interesting um kind of weird if you believe that uh america's mystery babylon can't be questioned did you ever get confirmation that faithful word baptist church brings in 120,000 a month well there's some questionable stuff about those articles I, I didn't really check into it as good as i should um but, you know, I mean, the guy is flying all over the place. That costs money. You know, they put out some video the one time about uh, they're renting some big fancy house and stuff like this because their house is being rebuilt and whatever. So it wouldn't shock me. Uh, question, are all men in the body of Christ supposed to reach the level of an elder? Hmm. I believe so. I believe that in the priesthood of the believer, honestly. Um, you know, I think it's just, I think... It's kind of like the perfect will of God for you to do that, but a lot of people fall short of the perfect will of God because they conform to the world. Um, uh, hi, everybody. It's just joining, not meaning to not say hi here. Okay, I keep seeing this thing come up. Uh, should Christians be involved in politics? No, I don't believe so. I mean, at one point in time, you could have made the argument, yes, but now, you know, uh, it's, I mean, if you really wanted to be involved in politics, you'd have to do so many things, they'd, they'd kick you out so quickly. Uh, I don't think a Christian should be involved in politics, honestly. Um, another one I keep seeing here. Will you ever do a verse by verse on all of Paul's epistles? Uh I don't know. I'm not really sure yet on that. Um, question, how is the church supposed to work before everyone could have access to the Bible? Well, good question. Um, I believe that early on you had the thing of um, elders and things like that. I think, well, you had sign gifts early on that, that was there and, and things until the Bible was, well, actually, I guess until the Jews really, you know, rejected Jesus Christ as a nation. But then, you know, I think you had a lot of the elders and things, you know, it's not that the New Testament, the first century was different than what we have today in the sense of they had different rules and we can ignore the stuff in scripture. No, but it, it definitely would have um, created some issues, people not having the word of God um, and having to write it out by hand. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's another interesting point. Um, Okay, uh, question, what's one book in the Bible that you least understood? Um, oh boy, some of the minor prophets, some of that stuff just over my head. Um, Ezekiel's also another one that there's a lot of stuff in it I don't get. Um, uh, Okay. Um, question. Why are Catholics so angry at people who expose Catholicism? I get tons of hate-filled comments from Catholics on my videos against Catholicism. Damage control. Again, they, they don't like to have their system kicked. Uh, the average Catholic is completely ignorant, even of their own system. Um, one of the best ways to convert a Catholic is actually to show them the catechism and then show them the scriptures and compare the two. Just say, you know, I, I mean, I've, I've seen so many times Catholics go, we don't believe that. Right here in the catechism. Charlie Wadsman, question. I believe Jesus is fully God, but I've been reading John and he's talking to his father or himself. Again, the soul can speak to the body. Uh, there's verses of scripture, you know, the rich man says, I said, you know, to my soul, soul, you know, take thy knees and whatever. Uh, yeah, you can, you can, you know, speak back and forth there. Um, I did a whole study on the thing. Was Jesus talking to himself? If you want more information on that. Uh, okay, Brother Jacob here. Question, do you know 
how the witch of Endor conjure up Samuel's soul from Abraham's bosom for King Saul to speak to in 1 Samuel 27. Well, I think honestly that the Lord did that thing just as a way to get King Saul. That's how I would answer that. Um, in, other, in other words, I'll say it this way, Brother Jacob. Um, I think that there's times when um, the Lord will actually allow some powers in the occult to work just as a way to judge the wicked. So got to lean up here to get over this one. Florida, Florida gospel tracks. Question. My aunt is a Christian witch and a Pentecostal. That's interesting. She also mocks the KJV. She also doesn't know what being born again means, but she still professes to be saved any way that she's saved. No, no. Um, my grandmother on my mother's side was a Pentecostal. Um, and my great grandfather was one of the first Pentecostal preachers in Pennsylvania. And, uh, my grandmother was actually hunchbacked over like this because he would, my great grandfather would punch her in the back all the time. He'd beat her and stuff. Wicked old man. Um, Pentecostalism is very wicked. Um, Dan W. Question is Brian Donovan post trib now. Uh, last I heard, he's he's saying that the Antichrist, you know, the body of Christ will be here to see the Antichrist, and then we leave shortly thereafter. He gets you know, messed up on Second Thessalonians chapter two. A lot of people are getting messed up there. I've done multiple videos on that. Uh, okay, I just zipped past a whole bunch of. Philip Dew, question is Moses, Elijah, and the 24, 24 elders are in heaven right now. Are they in heaven right now? I guess receive this from Bible flock box. No, uh, well, they, they are, but it's, I'd have to know more on how he, said that whole thing you know that, that guy bottle flock box is a seventh day Adventist nut I wouldn't listen to him um, okay uh, ministry of truth question do you think Paul is mentally unstable his actions at times to me seem insanity <laughs> well don't all Christians seem mentally unstable you know at some point in time <laughs> uh, you know, being in ministry, there's there's contradictions. There's things that you get into where you're saying, I think this person say you're trying to recommend their ministry, and then they just totally flip flop and do something else, and you go, oh nuts. You know, and after a while, it does about drive you crazy being in ministry. So I sympathize with Paul. Um, Crow Thicket question: What is what's your opinion on the pure Cambridge edition? Do you think the S in spirit should be upper or lower case in First John five eight? Um, the whole thing of the pure Cambridge edition deal, I've, I've been back and forth on that. You know, I've, I've never tried to say that if you have a King James Bible, that's not, you know, it's an Oxford edition or something, then it's not God's true word or whatever else. Uh, my fight has always been for pure, you know, they should have a standardized text that all publishers, anybody who prints a King James Bible should adhere to a pure kind of Cambridge edition. Okay. But I'm not going to say that they're false Bibles if, if they're not a pure Cambridge edition. Derek Douglas, question. What when talking to Catholics, a good point to give them is the thief on the cross did no works nor prayed or any to any funny saints. Salvation was gifted because he repented and believed. Yeah, yeah, you can definitely make that point till. Uh whoop. Oh, <laughs> messed up on that one, didn't I? Uh Question, where can I buy a KJV in Canada? Uh, check with church Bible publishers or local church Bible publishers. I know that they had some issues with uh, sending Bibles to other countries and things, but there's some way you can email them or whatever else. They contacted me at one point in time. So you can just contact church Bible publishers or local church Bible publishers. Um, they both produce good Bibles. Um Abraham, question, is it a sin to have a mortgage? Well, uh, not a sin, certainly not a sin spelled out in Scripture. Um, I understand, you know, I say be mortgage-free, be debt-free. Certainly there's, you know, um, Scripture is the borrower, borrower, servant to the lender, um, owe no man anything there in the book of Romans. Um, you should stay out of debt as a Christian, um, but... You're not going to go to hell or something like that if you have a mortgage. I understand why people get out mortgages. Okay. Um, I, I get it. Right. Um, 
question what do you think about the orthodox church and when it went wrong if it did um orthodox church i it's, it's kind of like catholicism with a few other variants any anybody that's adding to the scriptures you know big churches the, the huge big temples and you got the patriarch and all the other stuff you know just nonsense um Okay, question. In Acts 16, 29, proves faith alone. Did you read it? Um, I think, I'm just trying to think what this one is. Uh, there is no such thing as faith alone in the Bible. Acts, what is it, 16, 29? Yeah, 16, 29, 16, 29. Then he called for light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Scott. So I think he meant, Acts chapter 16, verse 31. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Um, that doesn't prove faith alone. The guy came in trembling. He was in a repentant state. So, um, let this mind be in you. Um, question, what is the best way in your experience to completely vet someone before they come on your channel? I struggle with that since we are not able to see someone in person. Yeah, I know. It's... I mean, you know, you just have to go through, you kind of get, have to get to know people first and, and just kind of sit back and watch what they're putting out, check out their channel, who are they subscribed to, what videos are they watching. You, you know, you'll get kind of a bad feeling sometimes just a, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, kind of thing. Um, it's rough. It is really rough. Uh, Okay, trying to get through here. Dan W, question. We live in Northern Maine. Praise the Lord. Um, and we have a set of Catholic encyclopedias. We'd love to donate them to your ministry, but was wondering if you have a use for them. Yeah, we'd love to have them. Um, you can, you know, Probably the easiest would be just to send them to our P.O. box. Um, we're kind of hard to, you know, get in contact with and whatever else. I mean, we can, but, you know, our P.O. box is, is uh, P.O. box 214 in Patton, Patton, Maine, 04765. But, yeah, we'd love to have those. That'd be great. We were, we never turned down things like that. So thank you for that uh, offer there. But that we, you know, we want to start meeting with people and stuff too in the future. But we're just right now, um, it's just crazy. We're you know, trying to get everything done on our property. Uh, homesteading is not an easy way to live. Um, finding that out big time. Um, question: Thoughts on Eric John Phelps? <sighs> Heard a lot of different things. You know, I, I talked to him, I think twice. Uh, once on the phone and once when we did our Skype thing or whatever else, did the video together with him. Um, I honestly don't know what to think about Eric John Phelps. I actually had a guy that knew him pretty well, and he said that Eric was being friendly with the, some higher-level Catholic knights, and he knew he was talking with Jesuits and stuff like this. So, you know, we, we kind of had a falling out over the Trinity issue, and that's the last I heard from Phelps. So, um, look, clicked on the wrong, wrong one there. Sorry. <laughs> um, thing flipped up there. Question What's 2 Corinthians 3 6 about? Actually, I have my Bible in front of me. It'd probably be quicker than trying to find it on the 2 Corinthians 3 6. Oop. Who also hath made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the letter, but of the Spirit, for the letter killeth, but the Spirit giveth life. Well, I think it's talking about Old Testament law. Um, the law is our schoolmaster master to bring us to Christ. It, it convicts you of your sin. It says, hey, you're, um, you know, you're wicked and, and whatever. So. All right. 
you know, people try to say that they're living by the Old Testament. You know, we live by the Ten Commandments. You know, I keep the law. I'm Torah observant. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> Give me a break. You know, that Old Testament, you know, is there. The, the Ten Commandments are there to convict you that you're a sinner, not for you to, to, to keep those things just religiously every day and you never mess up or whatever else. Give me a break. Um, trying to stay with it here. Question, did you see Ben the Baptist video where he openly says he wants a Christian theocracy? Yeah, I saw that. You know, I, I, I didn't watch the thing. I saw the video. Somebody linked to it, and I thought, no, brother. Uh, ben Ben the Baptist is so funny. He won't tell his real last name um, because he's, you know, he's actually a Jew, you know, which is funny. His real name is Benjamin Naim or Benjamin Naim. And uh, it's kind of funny. You know, he, I want a Christian theocracy. He's, he's sold out to the system. I, I, I just think to myself, you know, it doesn't matter how much, you know, you kiss the boots of these papists there, Benjamin, Benjamin, um, they're never going to trust you. He's, he's in the wrong system. Yeah, I feel, I feel bad for the guy, but he's just a total fraud, but whatever. Christopher, question, is it wrong to hold any drop for the pharmaceutical or banking industries? Uh, I'm not understanding that. A job. Okay, you say job there. Is it is it wrong to work for the pharmaceutical or banking industries? I would say yes to that. Um, I wouldn't want my paycheck coming from that. Um, do you think Charles Lawson can be trusted? A lot of these guys that get into these church buildings, um, they get really mixed up on things and whatever else. Uh, a lot of good people are saying, oh, you know, Brother Lawson's had some problems and he's, he's, you know, saying some things are a little off. Then don't put him on YouTube. OK, it's just as simple as that. You know, Lawson, I have some major problems. with him. You know, the thing of allowing a FEMA guy to come up there and, and promote Billy Graham's, you know, um, whole thing and just sit there and amen, amen, amen. That's bad. All right. Um. Question, Brian do, you think, Brian, do you think YouTube can be very toxic sometimes, especially for Christians? Extremely toxic. Yes, I do. Um, you really need to, to don't make YouTube, you know, everything for you. you just, sometimes you need to just walk away from the Internet. Um, question, what constitutes a marriage? In Scripture... Um, it is a open public declaration that you are going to live together as man and wife. Um, it is a spiritual thing where the wife, the woman is leaving the spiritual headship of her father and coming under the spiritual headship of her husband. And then, of course, it is the marriage bed, the action of sexual intimacy, if I can say it that way. Um, Alan Bender, question. Do you think in the future before the rapture, the KJV will stop being published? Um, no, I don't. And the reason for that is found in Revelation chapter 6. Um, get to the verse here. I'm trying to think of which verse it is. Revelation chapter 6. Um, verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. I think the King James Bible is actually going to be even more popular in the time of Jacob's trouble. So no, I don't think it's going to, they might ban it from being printed, but people are going to be dying for it. So, um, okay. Cindy B. Hi. How you doing? Uh, hi, Brian. Question. What if unsafe family members give your, your money to help you out, pay off debts, and assist you? Um, hmm. Yeah, that's that's another one of those those tough things that, you know, you, you're dealing with with uh, lost family members and stuff like that. Um, you know, I mean, you see it in Scripture where, where Paul is basically going and, and visiting family and stuff. You know, family is is tough. You know, dealing with lost family members because, you know, you, 
there's good times, there's bad times, but you know, you kind of, you, you really want to see them to get saved. And there's always this thing of how far do you go with offending them or, you know, I, I, I know it's, it's kind of difficult what to do about stuff like that. Um, that's just something you have to pray about is how I would say that. Um, uh, okay. There's another question. Do you think that's Charlie Woodsman um, or Wadsman? Do you think that's why man Christians just leave YouTube for good? Uh, or many Christians just leave YouTube for good. A sister in Christ, Sally left a year ago and not heard of, but a gentleman sent her to repent and said to email him. So I will. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I know Sally was getting attacked on a lot of different things and, and, um, I'm not going to go into a big thing on that, but you know, there were some issues I had with Sally and, uh, we had kind of a parting of the ways there and, um, I'm not going to say she's lost or anything like that. I've never said that. Um, but just some issues that I disagreed with her on and, uh, so, <clears throat> James Gregory question thoughts on dating to find a wife uh, I did a video on that so you can look that up I have already discussed that you know, just go to my channel and you can type in whatever else and you'll see um, so question is Bill Weiss's story 23 minutes in hell real I'm still debating within myself are there any scriptures supporting Mr. Weiss's 23 minutes in hell he did support his story with scriptures. Uh, people don't go to hell and come back to tell about it. I don't believe in that. I did a study on the thing of um, near-death experiences and whatever. Question, Can you could you do an expository study on Ecclesiastes? Probably not. <laughs> uh, just being honest. I mean, um, so... I mean, there's there's a lot of other things that come up, you know. I, I've done some expository preaching, but my thing is more answering questions. And, you know, the Lord will, you know, give me ideas on scripture that or on sermons and things like that. Um, KJB is truth. Question. How can I help your ministry? God has blessed my lifetime and time again through it. Is PayPal the best way I do? Pray for you and your family every day. PayPal or, you know, donating to our P.O. Box is a good way um but yeah prayer is a very very important thing um question can you please give insight why paul called timothy and titus his son in first timothy um when you lead somebody to christ spiritually in a spiritual sense you're kind of like you know begetting them you know he says about i've begotten you through christ um spiritually there's kind of a father son the father is supposed to instruct the son and teach the son and protect the son um there's a spiritual sense there but they're not supposed to take a title of father um like a catholic priest would you know uh question what is the best verse to refute faith alone and not works in the old testament um ezekiel 3 18 through 20 is the one i often use um Yeah, there's there's a I'm trying to think of what is equal 318 through 20 is uh, the thing about you know I'll just go here quick is equal 318 through 20 yeah again when verse 20 again when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity and I lay a stumbling block before him he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin and his righteousness, which he hath done, shall not be remembered, but the blood will I require thine hand. Yeah, that's pretty much proving that it's a works-based salvation thing. Um, okay, going down through here. Um, my brother, um, have you seen the video where James White admits that the King James only position is the right position now? I haven't sent it to your uh, email. 
haven't had a chance to look at the video yet. Um, I did look at that video, and James White's actually in the comments saying that he was he's saying you're totally misrepresenting me. You're not even understanding, you know, what I was trying to say there. So it, James White isn't going to repent of anything, um, any of his new version stuff. Um, Uh, Brian, is the book of Joshua an accurate historical record of Sodom and Gomorrah, considering it's mentioned twice in Scripture? Um, I forget what the whole thing is on the book, the whole book of Joshua. Uh, I haven't read it personally, so you know, can't really answer that that much. I it's something I haven't studied. You know, I I do my best to study a lot of subjects, but I I can't study everything. Uh, question: How do you do your family devotions? Well, um, we used to start our day that way. But um, it's easier, actually, when we are done in the evening, after we eat our evening meal or supper, we would call it. And then we actually go and then we'll read um, some scripture. Um, and then we sing a hymn. So. Uh, your last video about gambling, you said all gamblers are bums. Could you clarify what you meant as a bum is somebody, something usually directed at homeless people? Yeah, I didn't mean that they're homeless. I just simply meant that they're not working for a living. They're trying to get easy money and whatever else. Somebody that's a bum and, and in a situation like that where they're not, I can understand if somebody loses everything and they're out on the street for a little bit and work their way out of it. But a bum is somebody that just wants to work and somebody else provides for them. Um, Okay. Um, saw this one before. Is hell and the bottomless pit the same place? I would say yes, probably to that. I think. Um, I believe that hell is in the heart of the earth, and and the bottomless pit. I kind of tend to think that it is um, question is high school wrestling too violent of a sport um, yeah I my brother was a big-time um, wrestler in high school he was like on the team went to state championships and all that other stuff um, it's a lot of really just messed up stuff so I'd, I'd stay away from it honestly um, so, uh, do you have a simple, simplified, potent argument against all the other Bible versions you could use for my friends? Um, the best way to go about the whole Bible version issue is just simply say, just say, what is God's word? Can you hold it in your hands? And um, then go from there. Um, because most people do not believe that their new version is perfect and God's perfect word. Um, question, what does Paul mean in 1 Timothy 3, 15 by the house of God? Um, born again believers when they come together um, is what he meant by that. Um, the Bible, oh, I'm trying to think of where that verse is at. Build up a spiritual house, I think it's called. Try to find that verse quick. Um, okay, First Peter chapter two verse five. Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. So, um, the house of God, in other words, would be like a. Um, it it would be the, the house of God would be kind of like you you know I don't have any here. Sometimes my son has some of his toys up here, but. Each Christian is like a little Lego and you get two of them together and then you get another one. They kind of click together and you build up into a, a spiritual house there. And that is the house of God. Okay. Try to get down through.
Question, is it right to say that wicked stuff is out of hell? Example, given the uh, Roman Catholic Church is, is straight out of hell. You know, or I've heard that one, or out of hell. Uh, no, it isn't, because truth actually comes out of hell. The rich man that died and went to, to hell, he's actually saying, you know, Father Abraham, send Lazarus back, you know, warn my brethren and things. People that go to hell understand why they're there, and they understand that God and the Bible are true. So... Question, is it biblical to use names and ministries to build your own ministry, or is it better to not be affiliated with anyone? <laughs> uh, you know, just kind of riding on others' coattails and whatever else. Um, uh, Paul wrote about that, brother. Let me just um, build upon another. Oops. I'm trying to think of the verse here. Romans 15, verse 20. Yea, so have I strived to, strive to preach the gospel, not where Christ was named, lest I should build upon another man's foundation. Um, you know, you can be involved in things and recommended by the brethren and whatever else. Um, but, you know, it's just it's just a thing where, you know, the Lord will put you into where he wants you to be. Um, you know, the, the Lord might not want you to have a very big um, ministry or whatever else. Uh, you know, it can get very, very trying. You know, some sometimes it's, you know, you kind of think, boy, I wish I had more people, you know, subscribe to me or whatever else. And I, I look at it and I say, I wish I had less people subscribe to me. <laughs> you know, it can be it can be a little frustrating at times. So um, just kind of, I guess, be happy where you're at. Um, so. Uh, question, what's the major difference between the lake of fire and hell? Well, the lake of fire is eternal. Hell is temporary. Temporary as, as in it's a holding place until the people get to the great way throwing judgment. Um, question, is it a sin to, is it sin to call ourselves Baptists? In your early study, you said no. Have you changed your mind about that? Um, again, sin, I would hesitate to use the word sin, but I certainly would not call myself a Baptist. I don't, I'm not going to call it a sin, but it's, the Bible doesn't say to call yourself a Baptist. Denominational names are a problem. Dan 16, KJV 1611. The Lord has given me a real passion for natural health and the gifts of healing, and I was wondering if that could be a ministry all by itself, or if you also have to be a preacher. No, absolutely. You can, the, the gifts of healing. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, um, there are multiple gifts of healing. We're discovering that ourselves. There's a whole lot of different ways, nutritional health, essential oils, herbal remedies, superfoods. I mean, there's a lot of different gifts of healing and um, opens up great doors for, for uh, ministry and witnessing to people. Um, um is Abaddon, Apollyon, another reference to Satan, or is it a separate sinister being? I've heard, actually, you know, I know Ruckman taught that uh, Apollyon, Abaddon in Revelation, the book of Revelation, was actually the, the devil spirit that was present on the earth as Judas Iscariot. I don't know. I don't know. And supposedly that that devil spirit will be the one that infests uh, the Antichrist in the future. I don't know. You know, it's, it, there's interesting things there. You know, Jesus calls Judas Iscariot the son of perdition, you know, and, and um, you know, he, so I don't know. There's there's some different things on that, different ideas on that. Bible's not real clear, but I don't believe it's Satan. I believe it's a separate, you know, demonic spirit. Um, question, if I believe in Jesus, that he was murdered for my sins, am I saved even if I'm a Catholic? Well, um there's more to it than just believing in Jesus. You can believe in the Pope. You can believe in all the Catholic saints or whatever else. What do you believe about Jesus? What did he save you from? Um, those are the kind of things that you need to look into. And as a Catholic, um, you're not going to be given, you know, a thing of just, well, it's just your belief or whatever. You have to continue to stay in a state of grace. 
in order to, to maintain salvation. Um, Christian 9419, question, do you believe that the rapture will be seen by the lost world and it will be a massive worldwide event or more of an event that goes under the radar? The second one, I believe that they'll cover it up. Um, definitely, because it's not going to be that many people leave. So, you know, they'll just say it was a terrorist act or something, something weird, you know. Question, I've been trying to get saved for some time now and I'm still getting no results. I'm praying and calling, but nothing seems to be happening. Any advice? Um, well, you know, I, I've talked about that in a lot of my different studies and things. Um, you know, you, you just you need to get to a place where you come to the end of yourself. If you're if you're self righteous and, and thinking, well, I'm a good person, you know, whatever else, um, you need to get through that. And you know, understand what Jesus Christ did for you. Question: Why do you think that Ed Finninger and friends are obsessed with you? I started to get attacked when I said in my video that I support you. Um, they're obsessed because they, I've, you know, Lord's helped me to say things that they can't answer. Just as simple as that. Um, question: How can I be saved from a deep procrastination? I know I can do good, and I know exactly how, but I choose the worldly things instead. Then I repent, and the process goes on and on again. Um, well, there's a lot of different ways to look at that thing. Uh, there are, there's a lot of physical things that, that enter in there. It's not just all spiritual stuff. Um, you know, I mean, I, I'd have to know a lot more about that. I mean, what's your your physical health like? You know, you can you can get in very very poor nutritional health, and it can really lead to a lot of brain fog. It can lead to a lot of you know, making the wrong decisions and whatever else there's being saved as a Christian. It's, you know, saved from eternity and hell to now you're going to heaven as a Christian. But then the Lord, when he starts the process of sanctification, that's another type of salvation there where you're going to be saved from really messing up your life and, and things like that. So um, if you're just falling continually into perpetual sin and you're just getting messed up and you're just falling into the wrong decisions, making the wrong decisions over and over and over and over again. Um, you know, there are some of that, some of those things will actually, um, you know, work themselves out later on, but I'm trying to stay with these questions here. Um, and procrastination too, you know, you just, I, I, there are some things that you can do that, you know, to make yourself more busy and whatever. So, I can't go off on that too much longer, but last question. Thanks, by the way. I haven't been baptized yet, but I haven't found any Christian around me who I doctrinally agree with. What should I do? Um, yeah, that that's a thing I've had to deal with for a long time. People say I'd like to be baptized and there's nobody in the area. Yeah. Um, that's a that's a tough one to, to answer. It's not part of your salvation. You know the thing of being baptized so um, Joe Soto Brian what do you think of the seventh day in Venice I told a guy at work that the law was given to the Jews and that we are saved by grace any any movement that was founded by a woman Mary Baker Eddie I think her name was um, it's a problem, but yeah, they go in. They try to get under the law thing. They try to say this Sunday, going to church on Sunday or something. And there's not one verse of scripture. You know, we got something from somebody here recently, and they were saying there's not one verse of scripture in any part of the Bible that says that. Um, Ellen G. White, thank you for the correction there. Um, Baker, Mary Baker, Eddie, Eddie was something else. Um, but uh, you know, some we got this thing that they said that. Um, you know, the, the Sunday laws, the mark of the beast. There's not one verse of scripture where anybody worshiped on Sunday. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Uh, again, I've done it. I did a study on that. So. Um, uh, Dan W. Question. How is the woman from Hollywood that God saved doing? <laughs> Oops. You mentioned her a while ago, but haven't heard any updates. Uh, she was a fake. She was a fraud, unfortunately. Um, 
And it's, it's still weird because, I mean, the information she gave us and whatever else, we checked out who she was and she was legitimate. And, you know, I just I think to myself, you know, or am I that dangerous that, that, you know, people from Hollywood have to come after me or something? I don't know. Um, uh, okay. I have uh, two different windows here, so I'm trying to see which looks like this the regular YouTube uh, live stream thingy or whatever. The comments come up first here, but then they go over here. So right now I'm waiting for the my video, most recent video, to render completely. Then I can upload it. And um, so... All right, I'll get that comment here in a minute. Um, question. My family are Roman Catholics. I've been secretly watching Bible-related videos. How can I maintain my life as a Christian within a Catholic family? Please help. Um, I did a video a while back, uh, Saved Teens and Lost Parents or something like that, I think it was. And uh, you can watch that for some good advice on that. Um, so, yeah, um, question at the last supper, they sang songs and any ideas which ones they would have, would have sung or whatever. No idea. I really don't know. Um, I must've missed that one. Okay, there's. Can you briefly elaborate on how we should read the Bible? Well, um, you know, the the Pauline epistles are the most important, uh, you know, set of scriptures because it's instructions for us today. Um, in other words, you know, basically Acts through, you know, Philemon. Acts isn't a Pauline epistle, but I'm saying, you know, you just go through it like that. Romans through Philemon, but Acts kind of gives you the you know, transitioning into from, you know, Old Testament to now New Testament Christianity. Um, that's a really good part. But then you go back to the Old Testament, too, and just I like the book of Psalms and the book of Proverbs, both very good. But then you get into some of the other Old Testament books and um, the New Testament, the Gospels, book of Revelation, whatever. Um, so I'll answer that. Uh, I don't know why some of these aren't coming up over here on this side. Still learning some things. Okay, it's kind of odd because I'm seeing a lot of questions over on this. I have two monitors, and uh, it's my video editing computer. Um, so I don't know why they're not coming up over here. Uh, Dan KJV1611 says, question, what is your opinion on metrical psalms since they change words to make it easier to sing? Never heard of it. Um, uh, Christopher, do you have, do you ever... Have communion, communion at your house with bread and juice. Um, haven't in a long time. Uh, we we have done it in the past. Uh, so I'm 
tribunals worldwide, can you debunk the video made to you about who are the real Jews by staying focused for Jesus? The video is very convincing. I haven't seen it. I, I really don't know. Question, do you fellowship with other believers in real life, like a group singing, praying, preaching at all as your place or some other place? I know you are against church houses. Um, we have, but we are not right now. Um, we're, we're, uh, we spend a lot of time on our property because there's a lot of different uh, work that we have to do. Um, Uh, whoop, hold on there. Joe Pipkin question. Why did God decide not to send apostles to some other countries of the world? For example, China, India, or Japan. Do you know in his sovereignty that the majority of them will not accept the gospel? I don't know. I don't know. They were forbidden to, you know, God, he preached the word in Asia. So I have no idea. I've had situations like that where we go to try to track something and it just doesn't work. And we try it again and it doesn't work and it, it just keeps not working. So the Lord has reasons. Um, Joe Soto question there are Christians at work that are living in fornication I told them they need to be married in order to be right with God Do unmarried couples need to be married uh, yeah fornication is where you just you know sleeping together with no intention of, of living as husband and wife okay there just went a bunch of comments um, Uh, more, more action. Um, can you explain what precisely happens during the 1,000 year reign of Jesus on the earth? Like what we, what will we Christians be doing? Well, that depends on how much you suffer for the Lord in this life. If we suffer, we shall also reign with Him. We will be reigning. So I believe that you'll be given, you know, rule under the headship of Jesus Christ, and you know, kings and priests. You know, there will be those who are teaching people. Bible doctrine, and then those who will be carrying out rules and laws and whatever else. Um, so, do I think that all of Paul's epistles is what we should major in? Yes, I do. Um, what's my opinion on infant baptism? You say, I disagree with it. Yeah, I definitely disagree with it too. Okay. Okay, there. Some of these new comments are coming up again. Uh, question in Revelation five eleven. I know ten thousand times ten thousand is one hundred million, but how? Many would be the thousands of thousands in your opinion. I don't know. I believe less than 200 million. Because if it was 200 million, it would, you know, say 10,000 times 20,000 or something. Um, I don't think the Lord's going to give an exact number, you know, of who, how many people get saved or whatever, because then, you know, um, that'd be issues with that. Um, hi, Brian. What part of the Godhead was, was, was in Eden with Adam and Eve? I do not know. I'd have to study that more, honestly. You know, the Lord usually showed up as the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament, which would have been a physical appearance of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. You know, they call it a Christophany or some kind of theophany. Or you could just say Jesus showed up as the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament. Um, so... Yeah. Question: What happened to the letter to to Laodicea from Paul? Uh, well, the Lord saw that it was wasn't going to be part of Scripture. You know, that's the best way I can answer that. Um, question: Are sodomites possessed? Well, I think they can be. Um, I think that you're getting away from a normal. Um, you know, I think that you're getting away from the uh, normal desire of a man wanting to be with a woman or a woman wanting to be with a man. So, I don't know. It's dangerous to get into that stuff. Um, 
I don't know why these comments aren't coming up over here. I don't know. I'm trying to, to do the comments over here. Am I doing something wrong? I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong or not. They're coming up over here at the actual YouTube video like crazy, but um Bob and Orlovic question, what do you think of predetermination? If you mean predestination, I don't agree with it. Um, it's a Calvinistic type of thing. Let this mind be in you. Question, what about the millions of babies that were aborted? Are they not a part of that group of 10,000 times 10,000? Uh, I would say that they're not part of it. Um, you know, Jesus Christ says in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as angels of God in heaven. Um, meaning, I think that people that go into the resurrection um, or saints would be the ones who are resurrected. Um, you know, as far as the aborted babies are concerned, I'm not, I have no idea what the Lord's going to do about that. You know, what that whole, how that's going to work out. Um, Jesus, his Lord says, question, why and when did Lucifer sin? Um, well, Isaiah 14 talks about that 12 down through different verses. He tried to be God. Um, So, um, question, are Gog and Magog after the thousand year reign or before? I have no idea. <laughs> that's been one, the book of Ezekiel just, you know, it's one of those books that's over my head. I just haven't done much study on that. Um, a hi, Ursu. A question, what is your opinion on Sam Gipp? Would you endorse him? Would you recommend his teachings, at least the part of defending the King James Version? Uh, his book, um, Answers to your, I can't think of what that thing is. Um, answers to Bible, Bible version issue questions or whatever else. Uh, that's one of the first ones I, you know, ever recommended or read actually. And um, he does some good stuff defending the King James Bible. But he's, you know, a lot of these guys, they just get so messed up with philosophy. They get into these church buildings and they just fall apart. Um, you know, I recommend him with caution. Say it that way. Uh, here go, a lot of comments. The answer book. Yes, thank you. Uh, question about Ray Comfort. Uh, yeah, I don't mess with Ray Comfort. He is a true Lordship Salvationist in terms of you have to um, be sinning or you, you can't sin and whatever else. Um, so, yeah, I don't mess with Ray Comfort. Okay. Is listening to Lester Roloff a bad idea because he was friends with Jack Hiles? There were a lot of people that were friends with Jack Hiles. Jack Hiles was a mind control expert. He brainwashed people. Um, so, yeah, he... Um, yeah, uh, Lester Roloff had some good stuff, but... I don't know. My advice on anybody who uses the King James Bible is listen to them, but keep your Bible handy and follow along in the scriptures and just simply say, wait a second, you know, search the scriptures to see if they're telling you um, the truth. You know, the Lord, will, the Lord will lead you to the right, you know, teachings and whatever else. Yeah, and Ray Comfort is hanging out with false teachers and ecumenical preachers. Yeah, he does. He gets in, he gets in these circles, I'm thinking. Yeah, and he rewrote the Bible and stuff, so, yeah. Um, uh, the rapper Kanye West thing is saved. No, I don't. I talked about that earlier. Um, question, are you going to do some more teaching, Brian? Some of us need guidance and decent study. There is no one I trust. Well, I'm working on a video right now, um, uploading it. Um, I just got done preaching it not long ago. My question, do you think that someone that does not believe in eternal security can be saved? Well, I think, that, again, I think that there are people that get saved 
and then they get mixed up with philosophy and whatever else and they come out and they say they don't believe in eternal security but if somebody is truly saying i don't believe in eternal security um i talked to this amish guy the one time and he was just vehemently the damnable doctrine of once saved always saved um you know so somebody like that no there and i said to him i said uh so you can lose your salvation and he said yes i said then you've never been saved because if it's your salvation and you can lose it then you're lost uh what is lordship salvation um lordship salvation is is depends on the person who defines it <laughs> there is no definition of lordship salvation um in the king james bible um people accuse me of being a lordship salvationist i'm not um but according to their definition i am so uh lordship salvation if you want to get down to what i believe it means it's somebody that says that there is you know jesus christ to have has to have total lordship in your life you cannot sin after you get saved or you were never really truly saved and they you know you have to die in a state of grace i mean it's just catholicism repackaged um so um op nine eight five eight three one my public school is teaching me about the big bang theory yeah they'll do that I went to public school and they did the same thing, you know, like acting like it's science or something. Um, Gary Peterson, 67. Christopher uh, Lester Roloff's sermon ripping on Christians on television is the best sermon I've, of it. His I've heard helped me break a decades long TV addiction. He was a health natural roundy guy like Brian. Yeah, he was. Um, Let's roll off has some real good stuff, but if you ever want to hear something radical, listen to his teaching against meat and in defense of vegetarianism. I mean, I just, I, I just, I listened to it. And I thought, oh man, just, oh, this is so bad. It was so heretical. I just thought, oh man. So a lot of those guys were good guys. They, they came out with some good stuff, but Don't ever put your faith in man, uh, myself included. Um, uh, What is my opinion on Scorby dramatized King James Version? I've never heard that. I've, I've heard of it, but I've never listened to it, so I don't. I can't really comment on that. Um, Lambs, kings, will those who get got raptured come back with Christ to reign for the thousand years? Um, yeah, I do believe that. I, again, you know, you have uh, what's his name? Um, hey, there's Jonathan. Um, oh, I can't think of that guy's name. Joey Faust or something like this, and he teaches that if you don't live for Jesus Christ, then you go to hell for the thousand year period of time. You no, know, come on. Part of the body of Christ is down, suffering in hell, burning in hell. You know, I don't think so. Um, I love your series on Revelation. Will there be any will be other series like that? Thanks. Um, can't say right now. I, have, I really have no idea. <laughs> Christopher, will we have farming carpentry jobs during the thousand years? Well, I guess if you don't suffer much for the Lord, then maybe. But the, those who suffer for the Lord, they will reign as kings and priests. So, but I think, you know, as a king and priest, you can still farm and do carpentry. Uh, be kind of great. But um, uh, 
Jesus is Lord question. Why are we being tempted again and again and again and over and over again? Because this is the time that you have to suffer as a Christian. Um, so. Have you heard of the legend of Faust and the whole idea of selling your soul to the devil in exchange for anything you desire? If so, is it biblical? Well, you know, the devil says to Jesus, he says, if, you know, you fall down and worship me, I'll give you the kingdoms. So in that sense, yeah, I do believe it would be, um, you know, some truth to it, I guess. Question, how long does a Christian have to be saved until they are no longer considered to be a babe in Christ? Well, that's the process of sanctification, and that can happen quicker for some people, slower for others. It's not going to be the same time period. Um, you know, if you go through a lot of uh, rough times and whatever else as a, as a Christian, or excuse me, as a lost person, and then you get saved, there's a lot less sanctification. You say, yeah, I'm ready to give all this junk up because I know it's bad. So, question, is it ever okay for a believer to sometimes doubt their salvation, or is that a sign that someone isn't genuinely saved? Um, you know, you will have those times where you will, you know, it, you know, it's, it's kind of, is it ever okay to, to question the Bible? Is it ever okay to question if God is real? Well, it's it's not technically okay, but it's it happens, you know, just as, as your the infirmity of your flesh, you will... You'll have questions that will come into your mind. You know, you'll say, well, I don't really know for sure and whatever. So it's not, it doesn't mean that you're lost in order if you question if you're genuinely saved. Um, um, William Jarowski. Uh, question, any proof Catholicism created atheism? I know uh, Eric Phelps talked about that the one time he said that uh, Bertrand Russell, I think it was, was Jesuit educated. Um, so, do you think the oil flowing Bible in Florida is a hoax? I haven't heard of that. It sounds like kind of like the, the statues of Mary, they have oil coming out of their eyes and stuff like this, and that is a hoax. Um, is Bill Schneblin telling the truth about it, his past as being a vampire, or is he only a storyteller? I don't know. I have some issues with Bill Schneblin as well. He's gone into the whole Hebrew roots thing. and eh. Question, what's the name of the video with the funny names for other Bible version abbreviations? I might have deleted that one. I'm not sure. Because it was about the, the 2011 NIV. They were saying we don't know what to call it yet. Um, I might have deleted that one just because it's no longer applying to today. Um, uh, question. Are the rest of the dead in Revelation 20 verse 5 dead Christians that died before the time of Jacob's trouble? Um, will they not reign with Christ a thousand years since the dead live not again until the thousand years are finished? Oh boy, that's a good question. Um, I'd have to study that one. That's a good question. Um, how come girls can't preach? I watch your older studies, and you said that I was confused. Um, men are supposed to have the oversight. Um, a, a, a female. Um, can certainly witness. You see it with Aquila and Priscilla. Um, she's a married couple, and, and you know they take a polis, I think it is, to the side and kind of straighten him out a little bit. Um, and you know, can women be in ministry and things like that? I did a video on that. Um, okay. Uh, who can explain the Godhead? Um, well, the scripture does. You know, in Jesus Christ dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And you're looking at him, you're looking at Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Um,
Why is the Truth Shall Make You Free YouTube channel still blocked? I get that thing a lot from them. I don't, I don't know if I, you know, I, I get things and I get confused with stuff. And I block people and whatever else. I know that they get into some things attacking me on whatever. I don't know. Um, Question, why is God sometimes silent when he is testing us? Um, well, as a father of a little boy, I can say this: that uh, I do the same thing sometimes because I want him to try to remember what I have told him in the past. And I'll just kind of look at him and say, son, you know, I'll just be quiet and, and whatever. And the Lord will do that with us. Um, definitely. Question, will tribulation saints ever have a beam of judgment? Oh, boy. Um, I would imagine so. Um, you know, they don't have the judgment seat of Christ, but um, I'm sure that they'll be judged somehow. Again, some of that stuff is a future dispensation, so it's very hard for me to answer that right now. It's kind of a mystery that will, will be revealed later to them. Um, how to street preach the right way? Uh, well, um, you can go on to a street corner and you can just read the Bible. Um, <clears throat> you know, there's there's sometimes that you'll have some wicked uh, situation or whatever else. And, and I think a man should be the one that, that rebukes out there. But when it comes to just witnessing for Jesus Christ, you know, generally better for men to do that um, than women. But. You know, I think women can hand out tracts and things like that. Um, okay, I mean, there's a lot that are going by me here. Uh, question, what do you think of the teaching that if you didn't cry at salvation, then you didn't have godly sorrow and are lost? I, I haven't heard that. Um, that that's all. Um, yeah, I, I haven't heard that one. Um, okay, I'll, I'll go back to that one. What scripture magnets do you have on your cars? I'm actually in the process of redoing them right now. So, um, uh, what's a beam of judgment? Um, uh, that's the another name for the judgment seat of Christ, kind of the Greek word or something like that. Have you heard of Bofa? And if so, what are your thoughts? No idea. Never heard of it. Um, women can't share testimonies isn't a part of witnessing. No, I never said that women can't share testimony. Um, absolutely, women can share their testimony. Again, I, I have a study on I go over the scriptures on the whole thing of, you know, oh, isn't that a part of it? Okay, I see what you're saying there. Um, uh, Where can we go to tracks that are not chick tracks? Uh, Fellowship Track League. Or make your own. I saw somebody else said that down there. Um, hi. Got to check and see here. Okay, uh, got a little bit of time here yet. Just waiting for my video to render so I can upload it. Okay, 
Uh, talk to a professing preacher that believes in preterism. He was angry that I defended Israel. Is it possible he has lost? Um, yeah. Pretty good chance that preterism is, preterism is pretty bad. <coughs> and people that go against Israel, there's all kinds of problems there. Um, Um, what's the name of that study you, you did on that commandment honoring parents? Um, I can't think of what that is. Um, you know, saved, uh, saved teenager lost parents. I think it was one of the FAQs I did. If I remember correctly, I'm sorry. It's been, I've done a lot of videos over the years. Um, Is Jake Trax legitimate for Bible believing Christians? I just started watching him. Um, eh, there's some problems there with Chick publications and David Daniels. I can't recommend them anymore. They they make graven images of Jesus, a Jesus. So yeah, I, I'm not going to be able to recommend them. Question, is there any good UK preacher or fellowship around London that would be good to meet as well? Uh, don't really know of too many over there, honestly. Um, trying to, I mean, there's brethren over there and things, and, and, you know, you can get in contact with them, but, you know, uh, can't recommend too many people. Question, why did the apostle Stephen see Jesus standing as he was about to be stoned? Was it because judgment... Uh, was it because judgment about the fall? There's a lot of different theories on that. Um, you know that. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of different theories on that thing. Um, question: Did you make the chair that you're sitting on? Yes, I did. Um, if I can show the thing better, try to show it here quickly. It is a rustic chair that I made. That's what it looks like. So <laughs> I did the seat, upholstered the seat and everything else. The uh, uprights are out of chestnut. The cross pieces are out of oak. So nice question there. It's kind of a little bit different. Um, Matthew 24, 29, after the tribulation of those days, Jesus returns. Yeah, second advent. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, the tribulation is never a title for the time of Jacob's trouble. It's not for the church, unless you're a Catholic. Um, okay, just kind of go down through. Um, what are your thoughts on the white race dying off? Is this part of God's judgment or our own fault? Uh, yeah, I've heard of that. The, the population numbers aren't growing and all that stuff. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's part of God's judgment, but um, I believe it's going to be restored after the time of Jacob's trouble. But um, yeah, can you please look into both of Stephen Anderson is heavily involved? I still don't know what in the world that is. I, I honestly I, I don't know what that is. Um, Uh, leave him. Um, what did you finish it with? The chair? Um, I think it was Water Locks. W-A-T-E-R-L-O-X. At the time, I used to use that a lot. This, this chair is older. It was back when I was making a living as an artist. I got into rustic furniture towards the end of my time as an artist. Um, question, is Jacob Prash trustworthy? I went to see him once, but there was something weird about him. 
Absolutely not. The guy's a total heretic. I think he uses new versions, and he's definitely radically against the catching up before the time of Jacob's trouble. Um, who is Leviathan in the book of Job? Well, I think it's a double reference to a actual, what you could call a dinosaur, but also a definite reference to Satan being like the dragon of Revelation chapter 12. It is. Um, what comes before two? One blessed. Time of Jacob's trouble or one blessed hope? The blessed hope is the catching up of the body of Christ. That comes before the time of Jacob's trouble. If that's what you mean. Um, do you accept corrections? Yes, I do. When I'm wrong, which happens, you know, frequently. Uh, okay. Question, what to do if you are living in the most atheist country in, of the world and you do not know any safe people? What should you do being a woman? Um, yeah, I, I know a lot of you over there in, in Europe, especially. It's it's very very difficult. Um, you know, it's it's an interesting thing to have um, the you know the internet and whatever else because you can actually meet people that think the same way as you, and it's great. But at the same time, it gets kind of lonely then in in your regular life and whatever else. Um, study the Word of God, pray, um, and just. Lord, give me chances to witness to people, talk to people. Um, it is difficult, you know. Um, you know, just the there was an old saying. I forget if it was Hudson Taylor or some old missionary, and he said, "Have thy tools ready; the master will find thee work." In other words, get to know this book, get to know God, uh, get to understand Bible doctrine, and then the Lord will put you into a situation where you can witness to people. So, instead of studying every detail in the Bible, should some of us just use most of our time becoming very proficient in just telling people the basics? Yeah. I think that that's a good point. Um, you can get kind of bogged down sometimes with understanding every little fine point in there and whatever else. <clears throat> and you, you kind of, you know, like the old saying goes, you can't see the forest for the trees. You know, uh, you kind of you kind of miss it. That it's the simplicity. You know, Paul actually rebuked. Um, I'm getting a little bit foggy up here, so forgive me. If, you know, one of the groups he wrote to, I think it was the Corinthians, and he said. He said about, you know, that I marvel that you're so soon removed from the simplicity that is in Christ. It is simple. You look at the book of Romans, it's a pretty simple book to understand. And so, yeah, I, I would agree with that. Um, get the basics down and just, you know, give people the basics and tell them what the gospel is. Um, absolutely. Uh, okay. Question Galatians five four Christ has become of no effect unto you, whosoever you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Does fallen from grace mean losing salvation? No, I think it means that they weren't saved. Um, if they're being, if they think they're being justified by the law, then they're not saved. Um, you have like your Hebrew roots people getting into that and whatever else. And I, I'm Torah observant and all this stuff, like they say, and keeping the law and whatnot. And Paul's saying, if that's what you claim for salvation, you're falling from grace. You're trying to save yourself. <clears throat> Uh, 
Question, did God rebuke you if you said something wrong? Yes, God has rebuked me. I have been um, chastened of the Lord for doing stupid things and, and whatever else. Um, I've had to correct some things and, and come out and admit I was wrong in different areas. Absolutely, God corrects me. Um, question, should saved people have secular jobs? Yeah. You know, um, you know, it's it's perfectly fine to make a living, perfectly fine to work a secular job. You know, um, there's a you know chance I might go back to secular work eventually. Um, I've talked about it with different brethren. Give some younger brethren a chance to you know for the Lord to use them and whatever else. Paul certainly made tents and things. I'm not against a Christian working and having a secular job. You know, there's a lot of times I miss you know secular work. Um, so <clears throat> my parents say they will go to hell. What should I do to save them? They believe in Jesus, but don't believe they can be saved because they have done too much bad, even through works. Um, well, you know, uh, you know, you just have to let them know that, you know, it's it's not their works. It's not, you know, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief, Paul wrote, and say, you know, he was killing Christians, you know, and God saved him and used him. Um, I don't think they're that bad. Um, Did you ever struggle spiritually while working secular jobs? Well, um, <clears throat> the last job that I had uh, was actually, um, I worked at a boat place building boats. It's in my testimony, what I did, did for a living. And I was lost at the time. And I, But I was trying to be a Christian, you know, or whatever else. And I debated it. There was one of the other guys there. His name was Steve Cozy. He was a welder. And... Um, and he was Jehovah's Witness, and I was trying to, you know, go back and forth with him, argue over Bible points. I was using an NIV. I mean, I was a mess, a total hypocrite. You know, I'd, I'd, every new movie that came out, you know, I'd go rent it and whatever else, you know, Hollywood movies at the time. I mean, that's was terrible. But, uh, you know, I um, after that, when I when I actually got saved, I was working for myself at that point as a, as a wood-turning artist. So, um but certainly understand the thing of, of struggling with uh, lost people in the workforce. Question, is it unbiblical for a man to be bald? Well, um, the thing about shaving your head and whatever else, um, it's kind of a, a monastic thing. Uh, I don't really understand why you'd want to shave your head, honestly. But um, I mean, it's just a trend type of a thing and whatever else. So, um, question, what is the work of God today? You see many UK churches believing that God is doing this and that, such as making communities better. But what would you say that God is doing today? Um, God is, is basically, um, you know, the, the Bible says that that in the end times there would be a uh, people would depart from the faith. There would be a falling away. Um, so God is basically refining the body of Christ at this point in time. And a lot of the fakes that have just been kind of tagging along and pretending that they're Christians. Um, it's becoming apparent who's really truly saved and who isn't. And, you know, when the catching up happens, that's going to be the final thing where the Lord says, OK, um, these are the people that are saved and these are the ones who aren't. So that's what the Lord's doing today. But all this communitarianism and we're doing nice things and uh, we're going to make nice stuff for people. It's not of, of God. I'm not saying you shouldn't help people, but I'm saying that's not the work the Lord's doing. Um,
Question, are those people of true news real because they are not believing in the rapture? No, they're not real. They're fake. Um, Thomas Skian. Question, there are so many believers using modern perversions. What are your thoughts as to why that is? Um, the Lord will eventually lead somebody to the King James Bible. Um, some people might be confused about it. Uh, I don't, you know, I, again, I've had, you know, debate stuff with people on that, you know, or anybody that uses a new version is lost and on their way to hell. I've never said that, you know, kind of a thing, but you'll get people that come to the end of themselves and they go and they'll go to some church building someplace or they'll get in, start listening to some ministry and they'll get a new version thinking that this is the most accurate Bible it's it's they believe the marketing the secular marketing the sales tactics it's the best most accurate translation and they really truly want the best and most accurate translation and they'll kind of fall for that a little bit and then you know the lord will lead them through that process and get them to the king james bible eventually um do you think it is biblical for christians to take holy communion or only catholic well, about the church does it. Um, taking communion is a time that that uh, is a time of reflection where you say, okay, are there sins that I need to, you know, get out of my life and whatever else? I don't have a problem with it. Um, question: If a person was divorced and remarried before becoming a Christian, should they leave the new marriage? <sighs> Again, there are so many different variables to that. I don't know. Can you go back to your original? You know, spouse. What was the situation there? I I can't just answer that question with a yes or no. Um, should I stop working or work less to learn growing food, etc.? Hello from Sweden. Hi. Um, Sweden's a beautiful country. I really think we need to visit there someday, but I don't know if I'll ever get to go. But um, I think it's best to, you know, the, the Bible says about having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Um, I think it's it's a, you know, when you, you make yourself poor, you say, you know, live off grid or you do some kind of a thing where you can start to grow your own food. Um, it's not that you're working less. You actually end up working more hours. <laughs> You know, like right now, we work harder now than I ever have before in my life because there's just so much stuff to do when you live off grid and you're trying to, you know, build your own things and whatever else. Um, so, um, yeah, <laughs> you know, if you're going to the city and whatever else to get some big high paying job, um, you're going to be working and getting stressed out with that and whatever else. Um, whereas if you are, are working hard off grid, um, I can't go into that too much more. There's a bunch of other, um, uh, bunch of other questions, but good question. Um, okay. Question. Are those soccer players for real? If they look to heaven and thank the Lord after they have scored a goal? No, they're giving lip service to the Lord. And that's about it. Um, you know, what is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. That's what scripture says. Adrian Salinas, why Christians disregard the Torah? We don't disregard the Torah. We just understand the law as a schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ. Um, it's something there. Wait a minute. I must have just clicked on one here. Um, you know, the, the law is a schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. Um, we certainly appreciate the first five books of the Bible, um, but we don't believe that we have to keep the law to be saved. <laughs> Question. What if you're a Christian and your spouse is lost and changes their gender? Do you have to leave the marriage? Well, if they join their body to somebody else, then yes. Um, do you believe in the intermediate, intermediate state of the soul? Um the soul sleep thing, uh, I believe that your soul goes to be with the Lord. I believe your flesh rests in the ground. Um, so that's what I believe on that. Question, if lukewarm, 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 just kidding. I know you mean lukewarm. 
Christians will be spit out of Christ's mouth. Does that mean they will be sent to hell? Thanks, brother. Greetings from Slovakia. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Um, I would say that it means that they were pretending to be Christians and they were never saved to begin with. Um, I think if that's what that means. Uh, question, is there any proof in the Bible that someone reading a tract and not hearing God's word can be saved? Um, brother here, he says, no tracts are not mentioned in the Bible. However, if the tract contains the word of God, then yes. What he said. <laughs> um, very well said. Um, you know, it's faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It doesn't mean you have to, you know, just only be saved through the hearing of it. Um, you know, I'll give you a good verse on that. Um, get the exact wording here. I mean, if you pick up a tract and you're reading it, you know, you're hearing it and you're, and you're, you know, you're hearing yourself say it. First John 5, 13, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life, that you may believe on the name of the son of God. So you're believing a written record. So, um, Question, may a Christian play the lottery, lotto, um, why would you want to? You want to have your money come from something like the lottery? I would say no to that. Um, do you take prayer requests? We actually have the forum over at kingjamesvideoministries.org where they have a whole thing of prayer requests. I do take prayer requests. I, I, there's a lot of people we pray for every single night, certainly. Um, you know, uh, Absolutely, we take prayer requests. Um, so, do you still prefer and, and or use a Husqvarna? Yes, I do. <laughs> um, I think I've told this before, but my dad worked at a hardware store, and he could get really good discounts on uh, Husqvarna chainsaws. So that's why I went with Husqvarna. But I, you know, I've used steels before. Not a big deal. Um, Is it okay for a Christian to buy, sell stocks? Hmm. Well, the stock market is, there's a lot of manipulation in it and things like that. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I would say no to that, honestly, uh, without getting into a whole lot of detail on that. Talked about that earlier. Question, favorite verse, uh, Romans 8, 28. Definitely. Good uh, mood uplifter. Um, question, do you think that the mark of the beast will have some technology that removes free will? Yes. Like something that links you up with the Antichrist hive mind. Absolutely. Yeah. I think this, the uh, Star Trek thing of the Borg used to be a big Star Trek fan, the, the next generation thing. And the uh, first one too, back when I was a lost man, but they had that whole thing of the Borg, you know, you will be assimilated. They're, they're getting people ready for what will eventually happen. Um, it will be elimination of free will, you know, through the total Internet of things, everything, everywhere you look, you can get online. It's just you have no brain anymore. I think that's why people can't get saved in that time period. Um, question, is it wise for a Christian to have a Facebook page? Uh, I've never had one. I don't see the need for one. Um, did you paint that in the background? No, I did not. That's a uh, Peter Ruckman this way. Um, you can get it from Bible Baptist Bookstore. Yep. 
Brother Matthew said so too. Uh, um, question, favorite hymns, CDs? Well, I think it's the London Symphony Orchestra did one on the um, uh, hymns triumphant. And it's really nice, assuming they're probably lost people, but it's done very reverently. And it's hard to find really good um, Christian music. Um, can you do a response to the last Reformation? Torben Sundergaard is now in America. He is a loose cannon. Yeah, I've, I've talked about him in the past. He's he's just a charismaniac heretic. Um, question. Can God use fake spiritual experiences to test people if they truly love them? Well, I don't believe God's going to um, purposefully deceive people, so I would say no on that. Um, yeah. Question. If the New World Order can make you lose your free will, does this mean they can make you lose your salvation? In the time of Jacob's trouble, I would say yes to that. If you take the mark, uh, you go to hell. Simple as that. And kind of tying into that uh, question, are the people in Hebrews 6 verses 4 through 6 saved and then lose, lose their salvation? They were partakers of the Holy Ghost. They crucified for themselves Christ afresh. Yeah, it's the people who took the mark of the beast is what I've always taught on that. You can pretend that, uh, you know, um, you're saved or whatever else, and then you take the mark and that's it, you're gone. So, okay. Uh, all right. I had a couple more questions here and then we'll be done. Would you consider doing this for the winter months? Thank you. Um, as far as live stream type of stuff, we'll see. Um, I have time right now to do it, and uh, um, that's why I did it. So, okay. Well, that's going to be it. I, I got to get done here. Um, got to upload the video and, and whatnot. So um, thank you to everybody out there. Uh, who tuned in and asked good questions and whatever else. Uh, it was fun, as always. And uh, I'm going to upload a new sermon here. Um, so I'm going to get going. Um, please, everybody, stick with the Word of God. That's your authority. Always remember that. King James Bible. Um, so uh, we'll do this again sometime. You can save your questions for then. Um, Try to get to them and whatever. So uh, we'll talk to everybody later.